Tonight, there seems to be even less clarity about what exactly the White House is planning or not with regard to Iran. A new report from The Wall Street Journal highlights growing questions about the information coming out of that region to begin with. And we quote, intelligence collected by the U.S. government shows Iran's leaders believe the U.S. plan to attack them, prompting preparation by Tehran for possible counterstrikes. See the chicken egg theme here? That view of the intelligence could help explain why Iranian forces and their allies took action that was seen as threatening the U.S. forces in Iraq and elsewhere, prompting a U.S. military buildup in the Persian Gulf region and a drawdown of U.S. diplomats in Iraq. A short time ago, the Secretary of State defended the administration's moves thus far. All should know uh, that there is real data that underlies the risks that uh, we've identified that cause us to make these decisions. The previous administration appeased the Islamic Republic of Iran. So we are pushing back. And when you push back, uh, tension does increase. Well, there you have it. The New York Times reports that Trump has told his acting defense secretary, Patrick Shanahan, that he does not want to go to war with Iran. NBC News has confirmed this reporting. The paper says Trump is trying to tamp down these reports that his national security adviser, John Bolton, a longtime anti-Iran hawk who has spent much of his career calling for regime change there, is looking to launch some sort of military confrontation. Times also reports the president's, quote, less frustrated with Mr. Bolton over his handling of Iran. He favors the tougher measures as a warning to Tehran than over the evolving narrative that his national security adviser is leading the administration's policy in the Middle East, according to three officials. We know that's a no-no with this president. Lawmakers have been complaining the administration's been less than forthcoming about its plans or lack of them. Today, members of the so-called Gang of Eight, leaders of the House and Senate, as well as heads of the intel committees from both parties, received a classified briefing from the White House on Iran. The full House and Senate are scheduled to get classified briefings next week. What could go wrong? We have asked Frank Figluzzi, given his counterintelligence background, to stay with us. Frank, uh, as Americans go to bed tonight, should they be more worried about any threats from Iran or more worried that forces within this government are jonesing for a military strike on Iran? Well, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It seems like that's become my role here on, uh, on your program, Brian. But I have to tell you that intelligence and national security professionals are looking what's, at what's played out over the last 24, 48 hours, and they're shaking their heads saying, this is amateur hour. And by that, I mean that intelligence professionals are not calling the shots here. And it's so important to get the real intelligence agency pros inside this and advising the White House and the president, because when the filter is just John Bolton or just Secretary Pompeo telling the president what he might want to hear or what he doesn't like to hear, it doesn't matter that because the analysts that do this every day aren't saying to them, hey, look, time out. Iran, the, the posture you're seeing in Iran, the movements, the defensive movement of military and missiles and armaments even, and, and the chatter you're hearing on intercepts, we're telling you they're doing that because of you. They're doing it because you're puffing your chest out and you're getting them concerned and they're moving into a defensive mode. And how did this all happen? The president tore up the Iran nuclear deal that other countries had signed on to, that there was little evidence, no evidence that they were not complying with. He tore it up, and now Iran has reacted accordingly, and now Trump is reacting to their reaction. And we were this close to some kind of preparation for war and hostilities because of a mistaken sense that Iran was preparing to attack us. So, Frank, you know uh, uh, how this president is seen around the globe. We can see and hear him having public differences with the Boltons of the world. We can see and hear the president coming out against his own FBI director. How does the world view this kind of thing? It can't be that we look strengthened in their eyes. Well, I think we saw a glimpse of, of uh, international posture um, toward this kind of thing, and, and, and it's a refreshing thing to say. It's, it's sad, but it needed to happen, and that is that our allies have come out on the Iran issue, Brian, and said, wait a minute, 
That is not at all what we're seeing. We don't see an increased threat with regard to Iranian presence in Iraq and the withdrawal of U.S. personnel from Iraq because we think the Iranian presence is going to hit. That's not what we're seeing. We're seeing business as usual. It's what the Brits have told us. It's what the Germans have told us. So the response now is to come out and counter our administration and say, here are the facts. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.